Right guys, welcome your faces back to a brand new video. Thank you all for coming back. Make sure you're smashing that like button if you're enjoying this content this week. We have got a special surprise for you on the 350. It's not any bodywork, it's actually a mod. So right here, we've got a new radiator. So with this radiator, we've also got hoses uh, and everything else to keep it cool. We're gonna need this for when we're obviously using a bit more power in this car, aren't we? Wanna make sure that it's running cool. This is an uprated jack speed um, radiator. So this is going to be fun to fit this. So let's crack on guys. So with this radiator, we have got some new hoses as well to go with it. So we can make that engine bay look really nice and fresh. Again, we are doing mechanical bits at the same time. We've got plenty of stuff in that back room that we need to do. But at the same time, bodywork as well is a key factor. This car runs, it drives perfectly fine. There's nothing really wrong with it. We just want to make sure that we get all the bodywork sorted and make sure it's not going to get any more rust by being outside. Once that's done, we can then drive it like normal as well and also focus on the new body kit and everything else that we're going to be doing which you guys are coming on this journey with us for so again i know i say this quite a lot but me and jack do sincerely appreciate you guys watching these videos so th thank you very much <laughs> 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 so just to point out as well while we're here we are going to do a bit of a refurb on this this has seen better days so we are going to sand it all down we may even polish it to chrome or we may put it to black we're not sure yet we'll, we'll decide on that we are contemplating putting the intake pipe as black as well so we're sticking with the red and black theme in the engine bay or do you think chrome and red looks better? You guys decide, comment down below. <laughs> that stinks, Jack. <laughs> Jack, you filthy animal. <laughs> So just for you guys that have just seen that, we've had to cut that pipe. It doesn't matter because obviously we're changing them, but th these have been on this car for 16 years. I mean, 16 years is a long time. If we show you this side, you can see properly what we're talking about with the corrosion. You can see here where it's been sat. We're gonna have to sand this down when we put the others back on, but you can see all this. This is where it's corroded. This is where it's been under the pipe. They're literally like cemented on. There's no way really we can get them off apart from cutting. Some come off straight away, whereas some of them don't. So we're gonna to continue to remove, but just so far, there's a little update. We've removed this pipe from here, right there. We're about to move this one, this big long one that just sits down here. We've also just removed this overflow pipe, which sits on here. Also, we've also got a few clamps left at the bottom. We've got this one here to remove this pipe and one at the bottom. So we're gonna carry on and crack on with these. Put on the pipe. We both shit us. What has just happened there is we just took a few more clamps off, 
disconnected the fan and removed the fan, which you've just seen get pulled out. That's just to expose the radiator. So now this should allow us to open the clips and pull the radiator out and lift it up out of place. Ready for the new radiator to keep this car a lot more cooler. So right there, you've just seen disconnecting the radiator from the air comrad and pulling the radiator out. Doing that now allows us to be able to clean up all the old pipes for the new hoses to go on and make sure there's no corrosion or anything like that. Sand them all down if we need to, ready for the new nice shiny pipes, which we will show you soon. So right here, we've got the new Jack Speed radiator and the old radiator. We can compare them side by side. Straight away, you can see the jap speed one is a lot thicker this is on the back so you don't have to worry so it comes out more this way instead you can also connect your air comrade to this as well it's got the clips at the bottom that it connects in everything else is pretty much similar you can see connections all the same um, including the top bits also for the hoses at the bottom you've got your bleed screw then you've got your little things where it sits on the bottom to make sure it's all attached. This radiator with its bigger core will allow us to keep the car a lot more cooler, a lot more water and coolant can circulate in there. Air can get through it a lot easier, which will keep our temperatures right, right down, which is exactly what we're gonna want for what we're using this car for. For you guys that are doing this, if you do have a 350, it's easier to come up from the bottom rather than going through the top. So I would recommend doing that instead. So we couldn't really record that because that was very, very fiddly. So me and Jack both had to hold it all in and put it in place. So again, that is very, very awkward to get in. We ain't going to lie, but it is easy to come back from the top. Make sure your brackets at the bottom are straight to push your air comrad into it as well. Uh, and what we're going to do now is proceed and just carry on putting everything back together. So with that all connected in, it's now hose time. This is what we're going to replace them with. Some red silicone hoses to match the theme of the engine bay. Also, Jack's just waving his... Uh, <laughs> Also on this, we're going to replace the overflow pipe on the overflow reservoir as well. So the new radiator is pretty much in now. We're just doing a few bolts. What we will show you is we will show you the hoses going on, just putting those back here. But we're going to jump ahead now until all the bolts and the clips for the fans are back in. You don't need to see it or again, we've already shown you once, so we don't want it to just get a little bit boring. We always make these mechanical snippets like quite short and just straight to the point. So you'll see a couple of seconds just here with the tools, maybe a little bit of a low music uh, over it as well. So, you know, we don't want to drag that out a little bit. So we're going to, like I said, jump ahead to that and then show you what's putting the hoses in. We've come into a little bit of a dilemma putting this pipe in. You can see here, Jack's just going to quickly demonstrate, if he puts the pipe up to where it should be, it rubs straight on that aircon pump. So, this has got no aircon gas in it anyway, so we're safe. So what we are going to do is we're going to cut straight through these pipes here, get rid of them, and take out the aircon pump. This is going to save us a bit of time of messing about, getting a longer pipe, getting a longer hose and all that sort of stuff. All this process, we could have just left the aircon right out, pretty much, couldn't we? Yep. But we didn't know this was going to happen. So again, one of them trial and errors that always happens. Nothing always usually goes right. There's always something wrong, isn't there? The aircon with these. is going to come out, but it's five past 11. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's five past 11. We are going to take that back out at some point, but it's definitely not going to be today. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this pump off right here. It's sat right there. Um, you can take that off. All that's on it is a tensioner, so it's not going to affect any other belts or anything like that. Very, very simple to get off. We're not going to show you how to get it off. It's just a few bolts and a um, bit of an electric plug, basically. Um, and then we're going to get back to putting the hoses back on. About two seconds for you. <laughs> About ten minutes for us. No, tell a lie. Forty minutes. What? <laughs> yeah, forty minutes, roughly. Aircon pump is now out. It's twenty to twelve. So, like I said, we're going to put all these pipes back on, fill it up with some coolant and bleed it, and then we're going to leave it at that and call it a night. So, we're going to go ahead and do that now. But, yeah, look at the size of that. There's so much room in there. 
for activities. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> and uh, superchargers and turbos and. No, we get him. Yes. Shh. Shh. Jack. Shh. Jack. Oh shit. Jack. <laughs> Now we've got an update for you. All the hoses are on. Now we've had a bit of a nightmare with a couple of hoses. We've had to cut a few down because again, sticking out a little bit further. So again, we've had to DIY some of them. So if you are doing this again, like we said, you will have to cut some of these hoses a little bit shorter. So be prepared to do that. But all the silicon hoses are in, all connected. All looks really, really nice so far as well. Obviously we've got to put the strut brakes and everything back on, but also heat shield, we're going to leave that off because we've got to cut it a little bit smaller so that can fit, but at the same time, we are going to refurb it. Jack is just filling it with a bit of coolant. I'm um, going to let that run through um, and then bleed it to make sure there's no air in the system. We are going to do a refurb on this as well. We are probably going to paint that, maybe gloss black or something like we said, as well as refurbing that at the same time. That will be in a completely separate video. We didn't show you putting all these little bits back together. We're not going to show you putting the strut brace and everything back on. We will get back to you when it's finished though, because again, you've seen us take it all off. We don't want to repeat it. So that is all back together now, it's all been bled, everything is working absolutely awesome. I'm going to show you a little quick go over of what it looks like now, it looks absolutely fantastic. So with that being said, we're going to cut this video right here. Jack's just mopping a little bit of coolant up. Please don't put that in my beard. <laughs> but it is one o'clock in the morning. You know, these videos don't happen in five minutes, as you can imagine. Now I've got to go home and edit this as well. So one o'clock in the morning. We're still alive. We are still alive, yeah. <laughs> just. <laughs> but same again tomorrow for you guys. Same again for your guys' entertainment. So make sure you're smashing that like button down below, guys. And showing us the, the little love, you know. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Like, comment, subscribe and all that sort of stuff. See you guys in the next one. Peace.